At our last member meeting at Qualcomm in, uh, in March, we did an experiment and uh, we invited some people from outside of the Alliance to join us. In particular, we invited some of the end product and end, end solutions companies who are using uh, vision technology to, to solve problems and, and build products come in uh, to network with us and talk with us about what their challenges are uh, and also benefit from some of the excellent uh, guest presentations that, that we had. And that's, that worked out really well. I think it was very good for the guests. That was the feedback I got. I think it was very good for the Alliance members as well. So we're going to continue to to explore in that direction. And in that vein, we've got two guest speakers now coming up who I've specifically invited because they are doing exactly that. They are taking kinds of technologies that our member companies produce and they are using those to deliver value to end users uh, through services and products that I think are particularly uh, good examples of some of the best things you can do with vision technology. So I'm very excited to hear from these speakers you know, what is it that they're doing and what are the challenges what are the weak points in terms of what they're getting from, from their suppliers and what do they need from the, the supply ecosystem in order to be able to realize their ideas going forward. So uh, in that vein, I'm very pleased to introduce uh, Vit Goncharuk from Augmented Pixels. As I mentioned uh, briefly this morning, his company uses augmented reality to deliver value to a number of uh, industries and, and clients. And, Vit's going to uh, walk us through some examples and case studies uh, where augmented reality is, uh, is a real business tool. So please welcome Vit. Thank you. Uh, two, two days ago when I was a speaker at uh, Augmented World Expo, I should talk about some, some, uh, some motivation things in augmented reality. Now I can talk about our problems. I will uh, disc describe uh, some use cases where we earn money, so where augmented reality earn money. I will describe some use cases where we losing money and where we have problems uh, because of uh, because of user experience, because of problems of user experience. And in the end, I will describe some some prospective technology, what what, in, what we believe. Uh, if about short my, my my company and my background, so we. Uh, we are R&D and product company, so we have uh, our own uh, augmented reality tracking technology, what improve Qual Qualcomm, and Qualcomm, but Qualcomm promote our product, so it's because we we dealt with some very specific and good use, user experience in some fields. Uh, we selling uh, platforms for furniture and home appliance retailers. Uh, we selling uh, platform for real estate, and we selling. Games we we creating some stupid games for event marketing on base of augmented reality. Uh, let's start from successful cases. So I think now in uh, now augmented reality community booming in in furniture and home appliance because uh, a lot of furniture company uh, ordering some some solutions with, with augmented reality. It looks like uh, let me to show some video. <music> Just like description of use, real use case. So with help of open to child, you can check how, how it looks in your interior. Play with uh, textures. You can see different, uh, different, different products, and you can do even purchase. So now let's see how it works in in reality. You can press buy and order this product inside of the application. Uh, such type of products popular because uh, it's uh, this product solves some real problems. First, it's a lack of imagination because, for example, for me it's very hard to understand how some chair looks at my home. Maybe for my wife, yes, but not for me. Uh, 
maybe uh, for furniture companies such solutions uh, decrease uh, cost of returns because when you order in something and it's not looks good in your interior you send it back and uh, maybe if not fit size of your room it's, you send it back and it's it's cost of transportation etc and if you can check it at your home it's decreased cost of huge really huge costs for, for furniture companies uh, such solution very simple to use so you just shoot some put some some image on the floor and you can you can you can then start using it so there are no some additional education etc and there are click or call to action so you can you can press buy and this product will be delivered to you uh, another part uh, where in dust augmented reality earning some money it's a game so it's a games what promoting uh, some some toys so it's to 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 increase engagement from the client to to some products uh, let me to show you some some of our examples this this is real case in uh, in a store so customers just walking and see some product So he, she, she should fight with with this character, and in result he can he can win the, some some discount. And it's increase of engagement. So you should move, and you should you should. So it's not just passive standing. And you have, if you're a winner, you get a discount. So it's motivation. <laughs> so it's a motivation to, to play in this game and to get some products. Uh, such type of game should be very simple. So it should be very simple, stupid. So it's, it should be some shooter, etc. It should not be like a strategy, etc. So it should be like for a game, like one, one minute or two minutes for, to play in this game. Uh, in such games, usually there are some motivation to play, not just only game uh, game experience. So it should be some reward or or something. We, we created a game where uh, customers playing inside of cinemas, and the winner among the auditors get a free popcorn in in the cinema. So it should be some motivation. And it's in in such kind of games, there are no need to print the marker. So you can instead of marker you can use a package. So it's very important. So user not not thinking about printing of the marker. Uh, there are another key use case what we created for. So it's a it's a souvenir. So it's how to. And it's a, this souvenir selling in in United Kingdom. So it's how how you can play this. Again, our games very stupid. So it's it's. Don't, don't don't see here or something you know something it's just to attract attention and something so on these two types of of products industry i think now earning some money some some money because in augmented child is a lack of of, of uh, monetization but it's a, it's a real use cases where people earning money uh last year for uh let's talk now about limitations so so our problems of this industry. So last year I told, uh, I said uh, no to maybe seven or eight of our clients because we cannot because our clients asked us to deliver some solution on base of augmented reality because it's a written magazine about augmented reality, etc. But we not able to provide some good user experience and we offer it something not based of on augmented reality. I can even prove what we say in S, no because this is my message what I sent 10 days ago to one of our clients. Uh, I know five most common li limitation from from my practice. Uh, first limitation: it's uh, kids. For two or four years, kids, it's very heavy to hold uh, iPad, iPad or Android tablet in hands during two or three minutes. So such such auditor cannot cannot play in augmented reality, and th this auditor not a client for augmented reality solution because of user experience. Second auditory, uh, it's uh, seniors. Seniors have sometimes problem with vision. So uh, and augmented reality solutions now have uh, in user interface have uh, some small small buttons, small through the buttons, and it's hard to deal with such such interfaces. So uh, 
Number three, it's a problem with uh, what customers should print the, the markers. For example, we have we created a game uh, uh, what featured by Apple as new and newsworthy, and we have like one million of downloads. But we lose, I think, one half of auditory just because users cannot print the marker. So to play in this game, they should print the marker. And uh, usually you download in marker, you download an application from restaurants, from some public place, and you just forgot to print the marker, or you have no ability to do this. Number four, it's uh, lighting, lighting conditions, and glare. So uh, in some in some situation, it's not possible even to use augmented reality because light it's it's too dark, for example, in the room. In some cases, so it's so such conditions and uh, sensors like a camera cannot uh, work, so we cannot recognize, uh, we cannot track uh, track uh, features points. And number five limitation usually, it's, but it's from from uh, from customers. Usually, comp some products uh, too complex to implement it augmented reality. So it's it's easy to show a car in augmented, uh, sorry, a, a chair in augmented reality, but it's hard to provide good user experience for car, for example, to create car because it's more complex object. Um, I can show you on this video. It's a comparison of uh, of user experience. Uh, it's a comparison of three uh, SDKs. Uh, it's our own technology and uh, two technologies of our competitors. But I cannot disclose what this competitor. Just let's see where is it different from from user experience. And it's because of um, technology and because of quality of hardware. So here is. The, the uh, so objects are a little bit jittering, so it's it's decreased user experience. Uh, when you're moving, for example, your device, it's, it should be stable, so it should be predictable. So here are low FPS and jittering. Here, object is just lost. So when you when in some normal behavior, some object will be lost. Yes. It's a distance. For furniture, it's very important because you should understand how it looks in your interior. So objects now just lost. So you, you cannot, with, with some technologies, you, you cannot see how it looks in, in the interior. Here like two meters and you cannot see object. Just okay. Yeah, now much better. So, in some normal behavior of users, uh, technology, some technologies show not, not good user experience. It's a lighting condition, so it's uh, when you turn on lighting, for example, uh, in this case, situation it's stable, in this FPS very low, in this situation uh, object just lost. So you turn, turn on lighting in your room and, and you have a problem with user experience. What is this? Okay, it's for example cat walking on a marker, and you have some pro such problems. Here, we just lost. So it, it just visualization of most common problems with user experience when when user trying to to use augmented reality solutions, and such problems significantly decrease. Uh, uh, in as a result, significantly decrease probability of purchase. So if you see some bad I image or it looks like carton or, or it looks like fake, you will not purchase furniture, you will not purchase house, etc. So it's, it's a big problem for, for, for industry. Bless you. Uh, glasses. Uh, we have a lot of news about augmented reality, glasses, blah, blah, blah. But Unfortunately, for now, it's just good prototypes from my point of view. So, because uh, glasses now, uh, it's not a mass market. So, uh, glasses could be used for some specific uh, purposes, just as uh, education or I don't know in a gym. But, uh, for example, if you will view some some of these glasses and walk through the street, you will not be able to see information on your screen because because of problem with sun, because of problem of lighting. So now, glasses is just like are very early stage, but there are no uh, money in mass market, unfortunately. So, and probably with uh, with Oculus Rift, but Oculus Rift is not uh, virtual reality, augmented reality. Oculus Rift is virtual reality. Uh, my understanding of markets in next, I don't know, 
two or three years and how industry in augmented reality will uh, will, will deliver some some products or etc so we all believe in slam because slam 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 technology all over us to uh, avoid needs to print some markers so you cannot uh, you you can uh, play in augmented reality for example games where you want so you don't need to study to educate software and you don't need some physical preprinted markers uh, with help of slam or object recognition it will be possible to to implement more user friendly user experience more user friendly uh, in, in interfaces as example from for example qualcomm i can show you i think you saw the mac what you played with a basketball but this mac have a marker in case of object recognition you have you have no problem with uh, with markers so in this case technology just recognize objects so and you don't need to add some anything to this object and same situation will could be used for education uh, could be used for help uh, when your car broken for example so it could uh, assist you how how to i don't know change something in your in your car to, to start driving again so and uh, as i know qualcomm should release uh, this technology in in, in june so uh, and i hope it will be some problem will be solved uh we all i think most of all know news what google purchased it uh oh, sorry facebook purchased it, uh, oculus rift for two billion dollars uh, uh so now uh, industry have some hopes what uh, vr will be like very very, very next uh, mass market for all solutions uh all talking what uh, but but oculus rift is just virtual reality so there are no augmented reality so if there are no camera it's not possible to re recognize anything but uh, all professionals think what next step of oculus rift will be uh oculus rift will have should have a camera so we're expecting what next, uh, but it's not inside, it's just my imagination. So uh, so after Oculus Rift will be become mass market, it will be more easy to use augmented reality in such glasses because it, 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 it has some auditory. Uh, Google Tango, I remember what it, after me, it should be some, some other presenter about this topic. But with Google Tango, uh, because uh, there are some additional sensors, like different cameras and additional sensors, it's possible to use uh, such devices, for example, for indoor navigation. It's a billion market. And it's not possible to solve uh, with uh, existing technology and augmented reality on base of image recognition. So, because you, you should, you should uh, use feature point uh, for, for this. This is all. Any questions? And thank you for your attention.